have a conversation about bank rate. So here is a platform that promises you to uh, have uh, you approved for personal loans up to $100,000, okay? You can find a loan faster through the platform. So we want to review bank rate. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation, I guarantee you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Suri Kiwi Show. How are you today? You are, hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I am rating, I'm reviewing bank rate. And this is based on our research for six months. We have actually, uh, we have done a lot of digging here. And so what are bank rate personal loans? To start, I, I just want to say right off the bat that bank rate is not a lender. Okay, so this is a personal finance website that offers a lot of information about loans and other personal finance topics. So besides uh, personal loans, you also have other personal, uh, you have credit card information and, uh, and, and other, other information. The thing is that bank rate has a very simple business model. They make money through ads and sponsored products and services. So if you click on a link on the website, and you may be taken to the lender's website and bank rate will earn a fee from the lender when a referred customer takes out a loan. Okay, if you really think about this, it's kind of similar to uh, affiliate marketing, but bank rate is doing this at a very grand scale here, okay? And so bank rate offers free information on personal loans, on banking, credit cards, investing, home equity, insurance, retirement, and mortgages, okay? So if you are looking to borrow a lump sum of money to pay for a large expense, let's say a wedding or a debt consolidation plan or emergency expense, then Bankrate is a great place to start looking for lenders. Okay, and the site is really great when it comes to um, looking at your basic information and uh, helping you actually helping direct you to the lender that you need. So here are the pros and cons of Bankrate. So pros, their information on personal loans is easy to read and full of information that should help borrowers make a decision faster, okay? And um, the site's pre-qualification process is easy and it takes only a few minutes. Most people should be able to find a range of loans and bank rate is open about how it makes money through loan referrals. In terms of uh, the cons, their terms and conditions are a little murky. Users users have said that uh, bank rate sometimes will, uh, will have phone calls and uh, SMSs. This is really what it is. So our score of bank rate is 8 over 10. So despite the overall good rating it has, Bankrate has one serious and big problem. It's aggressive marketing practices. This is really bad. I must stop. Because it is gradually eroding the good reputation the platform has taken years to build. Okay, You can see right now on, on uh, Trustpilot, for example, as of the date of this show, 764 reviewers have uh, rated the, the platform 3.5 out of 5. 3.3 out of 5. This is really low. This is not a stellar record. So, bank rate, if you're listening, you got to fix things, okay? See this two complaints from users, for example. See on the screen. The first complaint and the second complaint. And you can see that instead of really addressing the issues, bank rate just copied and pasted it. The same generic reply for both comments. And this is, this is not good, okay? So, Red Ventures. You are the owner of Bankrate. You guys need to fix the uh, the deluge of marketing SMSs and phone calls really, really, really fast. Okay, you need to fix this. Now, let me give you an in-depth review of uh, the platform. So, when you go to uh, Bankrate, they first want you to create an account. Okay, this is how they track you. This is how they track your ads, have all the info about you. Well, hey, listen, it is a free product, so they also need to get your info. That's what it is. So you need to activate your free bank rate account to unlock what they call their premium tools and content. So you are able to improve your financial health. You're, they have a suite of personal finance tools. You gain access to a wide selection of courses, quizzes, and other learning content. 
and they have uh, great articles, tools, and product recommendations based on your interest. So you got to really create an you got to create an account. Without that, you may you may be able to read certain things, but you cannot really uh, access the full, the comprehensive suite of products. Okay, and what are we talking about? On Bankrit, you have a constellation of financial calculators. Really, they have gazillions of them. They have over two hundred financial calculators. So, and the cool thing is that you're able to have a tool for every financial decision you want to make. This could be a personal loan, a personal credit card, and whatnot. Okay, so they have a mortgage calculator, they have simple savings calculator, they have amortization calculators, cost of living, home affordability, credit card payoff. So you are able to simulate what this will cost you. Okay, you have they have a CD calculator, a certificate of deposit calculator, a balance transfers, loan calculator. So those are really really uh, cool. Those are tools that will help you actually make a make an informed decisions. Okay, so when we talk about bank rate, we also talk about trusted news and reviews that are published daily. So the sites actually employs a um, they they employ legions of writers and uh, personal finance experts who are constantly add into content on the website okay and they have reviews they have uh, reviews by cat categories for instance if you go on um, on bank rate you can have reviews about banking you can have reviews about mortgage lenders okay personal lenders credit card reviews also home equity reviews they have the best home insurance uh, the home, home insurance products and they have brokerage reviews also so again the what i'm trying to tell you is that when you think about the bank rate, you want to think about the first step you need to take to gather information about the particular loan or credit card or credit products you are you are interested in. Okay, this is this is actually the intel gathering phase. I want to quickly talk to you about how the whole thing works in real time, in real life. So first of all, you want to go to the home page and click on create free account. Okay, so you have to put your email, the password, and you just click, just click on create account. Then you need to verify your email. And so you go to your inbox, your, your, your inbox, and you click verify email address. So once you verify that, the link will take you back to your account home page. So here you can compare and get pre-qualified for mortgages, credit cards, and loans. Remember, this is uh, what uh, Bankrate does. They actually refer you to lenders and uh, other insurance companies. So let's try loans, for example. So click Get Started. Here you want to put how much you want to borrow. Click Next. And here they're asking you why you're looking for a loan. So we chose a major purchase. You want to mention your credit score so this again will not affect your FICO because we are speaking about a soft pool okay so we chose for this exercise we chose fair credit next they're asking you your employment status right so we chose full-time now they're asking you your gross annual income so for this exercise we chose fifty thousand dollars and so after you do that just click next Next, they want you to enter your zip. So we put New York zip, okay? Click next. You want to enter your address. You enter that and you click next. Now they're asking you about your housing situation. Are you own, do you own or rent? So we chose own. And now they're asking you your monthly housing payments. Okay, so once you enter the monthly housing payment, you have to click next. So now they want to have your first name and last name. So enter that and click next. Here they're asking you about your phone number. So you have to enter that, that number and you click agree and continue. Now one thing I want to say here is that we give a fictitious number. This is where we had to stop because Bankrate is, in, is really infamous for their aggressive SMS system. Constantly bothering people even if you opt out. So long story short, the process is fairly, is, is fairly simple. So after you enter your phone number, they'll keep 
bugging you forever okay they'll just uh, whatever but let's just continue for a second here so they want you to put your date of birth so we gave a fictitious date of birth click next and they're asking you for the last four digits of your social security number again here we put a f we put in a fictitious number and so here you have to click agree and check my rates so in our case this didn't work because we gave the wrong we, we gave wrong data but if you put in the right information for yourself you should be able to see what you may be able to be able to pre-qualify for i want to talk to you about bank rate cost so this is important a lot of folks are interested about their services how much do they charge as i've said this before bank rate service is free so the model is in any in any plat on any platform whether it is a Facebook or a bank rate or a nerd wallet or whatever if the service is free you as the content user is the product so bank rate service is free as the site makes clear on its advertising disclosure they are paid when you click on a loan and are approved for a loan that you accept okay so the loans you are referred to by bank rate like any other loan may include fees so one thing for sure if you are interested in a loan read the loan terms or call the lender for specifics for any pre-approved loan you are interested in okay so the fees that we are speaking about can include prepayment fees application fees prepayment penalty or origination fees late fees and of course interest rates those fees are not they're not paid to a bank rate okay you are paying those fees to the lender so this is important and one thing i want to say here is that the the lower your credit score the more likely a lender will charge more fees because they're trying to recoup whatever interest they might lose down the road if you default okay and uh, shopping for a lender should include looking at each lender's fees okay interest rates and uh, charges in general and bank rate does a good job at laying out that is this information for you so when we talk about bank rate, there are some features on the website that always come back, especially when they relate to personal loans. So you have comparison factors such as the APR, the loan term, the loan amount, and they'll, sometimes they'll tell you what is this is best for. Okay, and the uh, you might have to the the info on the bank rate website might include the credit score requirements for a particular loan. The annual income required for a particular loan and the debt to income ratio sometimes the lenders want to have people who have a, a dti of 30 percent or 40 percent or 45 percent it really depends on uh, on the loan okay and you might also have some interest rates by credit rating on the bank rate website okay and they will they have put for instance if you have excellent credit your average personal loan interest rate might, might, might be around 10 to 12 percent if you have good credit, this APR delta should be between 13.5 to 15.5. If you have average credit, it will be 17 or 18% to 20%. And if you have bad credit, we are looking at 28% to 35% or 36%. Let me talk to you now about eligibility. So we are still reviewing bank rate based on their personal loans remember that bank rate offers a whole variety of personal finance products but in today's conversation we are digging more on their personal loan on the personal loan aspect of things okay and if you actually find a loan on uh, bankrate.com the thing is that every loan has some requirements but what, one thing we have seen is that there are some standard requirements for all loans that you will find on the platform so it's, a, it's very important to have a clear idea before that uh, before you actually apply or even if you pre-qualify it's good to always educate yourself to understand what really uh, what, what really is suitable for you now the question is are you looking for a small loan amount or a large loan amount so the larger the loan that you that you seek the less likely you will be approved especially if you have less than stellar credit and are you looking for the loan with the fewest loan fees bank rate can provide that bank rate can give you uh, loans that are 
that, are, that enable you to use in-person banking. In other words, you can apply for the loan at a branch. It could be a bank branch or a credit union branch. Okay, they can also show you loans that actually use co-signers that approve co-signers loans for people with little credit history and if you can use the loan also to pay credit card debt so bank rate will actually filter so they will actually uh, give you results where you, you can filter for that criterion okay you can actually if you're looking for fast funding if this is an emergency loan bank rate will, will make it easier to for you to zero in on those loans that approve you fast they will actually give you a loans that also have that also have low APRs, for example, and you can use the money also for credit card or debt consolidation in general. If you have bad credit, you can also find loans that actually cater to your niche. OK, and sometimes you can also on bank rate. Once you have the results, you can filter by uh, repayment terms. In other words, you're able to see whether or not some lenders have generous repayment terms and you you have more information about the overall loan okay you have all the information and it's presented in a very nice and uh, easily readable fashion i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another uh, section of the Awesome Security Kiwi Show. I want to talk to you now about the target of uh, bank rate. So who is bank rate good for? Who is bank rate bad for? So one thing I want to say here is that bank rate is great for people who love comparison shopping. So if you are a comparison shopper, you definitely want to use bank rate. Why? Because you want to have uh, you want to compare and contrast different lenders. You know, you want to look for interest rates, loan terms. What is the minimum loan amount? What is the maximum loan amount? All that kind of stuff. It's important because especially if you are looking for a large loan over a long tenure, over a long maturity, it's important to have the right lender. And who should not use bank rate? Well, if you have bad credit, there are other platforms out there that you will uh, find uh, the kind of loans you're looking for, okay? Because the lenders that uh, bank rate usually refers to uh, customers or banks and credit unions and those are traditionally risk averse they are more conservative so it's important to really have that in mind so if you have a, if you have less than stellar credit you want to look for alternative lenders okay the thing that happened is that when you are pre-qualified on uh, bankrate.com your data is sent to a lender and the lender will contact you in some cases Bankrate themselves will contact you also. They will send you text messages. They will send you uh, SMSs. Uh, they'll send you uh, text messages. They'll send you, uh, they'll call you. And uh, this is uh, how they operate. And the thing here is that you need to understand that pre-qualification means a soft pull. But once you accept to move forward in the decisioning process, you will, subject, you will actually subject yourself to a hard pull. Okay. So your credit will be, will be hard pulled. And Bankrate itself is not a lender. It is a platform that allows you to pre-qualify for loans. They 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 basic and they don't charge any fees. I've already said that. So in terms of their target audience, if you are a member of that target audience, you will not pay a dime to Bankrate.com specifically. Okay, and how much you can borrow depends on uh, the lender. So you can use a personal loan for any expense for debt consolidation, for uh, for a large purchase, for an, an emergency expense, for a home renovation project, the whole nine yards, okay? And uh, how much you can borrow depends on the, on the lender. We have seen based on our analysis that the maximum loan amount goes from 50 to $100,000 and the minimum $1,000 to $5,000, okay? So the bottom line is that bank rate makes it easy at the end of the day to find a loan you can afford through a pre-qual process, a pre-qualification process that only takes about, when we did it, about three minutes, three to five minutes to complete, okay? So the platform helps borrowers understand how the personal loan application process works and explains what some of the best lenders are for their situation. One thing, and I'm gonna say it again, bank rate, if you're listening to us, you really need to take care of your customer service and actually reduce the amount of upsell and cross-sell you do because you have a lot of competition out there and you can do better. 
Now, before I close today's conversation, I want to give you some alternatives to bank rate because uh, they have uh, they are in good company, they are in competitive company, and they're not the only one, uh, the only player here. You have uh, the balance. Okay, the balance is a great platform also that does something similar to uh, bankrate.com. They give you uh, personal calculators on loans, credit cards, all that kind of stuff. You also have a wallet hub. Okay, the wallet hub is kind of good also. This is the personal finance websites that helps consumers improve what they call their wallet fitness with helpful tools about credit and money management. You also have money under 30. So money under 30 is actually uh, geared towards uh, young adults. So anybody who's under 30 years old, they are actually helping folks understand how to use uh, their money, how to save money, how to budget, how to invest. It's a great platform that we actually read a lot in uh, on our teams, even though some of us are not under 30, but uh, we really need, we love that website. You also have smart assets. This is a great 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 uh, platform it is a wonderful alternative to bankrate.com you have the, you have a similar process here they actually uh, have a uh, gazillions of uh, calculators to help you compare and contrast different financial products okay and you have the points guy so actually um, the points guy is more known for the credit cards um, advice especially when it comes to credit card rewards and airline miles Okay, and actually, for those of us who are a little older, we remember back in the days that Brian Kelly started this the Point Sky website, TPG. Okay, and later on, he sold that to uh, to another company. But right now, today, it's important to understand that they are actually covering a lot of stuff, not just the credit cards, but they actually uh, cover other stuff. And you also have Value Penguin. And the whole thing, what we love it, uh, we love about Value Penguin is that they offer simple yet readable, actually, advice on uh, personal loans, on credit cards, on the mortgages, on insurance products. Okay, and this is really good. And the website, this platform is growing a lot. And the last one is uh, PH, the Penny Hoarder, and uh, this is also really good. Uh, this is a good platform that actually teaches you a lot of stuff about budgeting about personal loans about business loans about um, not about business loans about personal loans but also personal credit cards depending on your situation so great platform all right folks this is it for today's conversation this was an in-depth review of uh, bank rate personal loans and i gave you an overview then I explain to you things a little more in depth and I explain to you how the whole thing works, the cost, the eligibility, the target audience and the alternatives. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>